Hello you little fairies, big welcome to all the new subscribers. Today we're going to be talking about something that you shall all go through. How to pass your theory and driving test. First time as well, probably. Now, the subscribers that have been with us for a while now will know what they need to do. Smash the like button and try and hit 190 likes for this video. Now let's get into the video. Right, before you can even take your proper driving test, you have to go through something called your theory test. And you're going to turn up at this building, which let's say is a bit like the old naked man at the gym. It's not big, certainly not clever, and you don't really want to enter it. And basically in this building, there's going to be stairs, a door, and just bloody more stairs. And you're going to have no flipping idea where to bloody go. Bit like if you were in the Maze Runner movie. Except you're not in a maze, and you're not flipping running. The building that you have to go to in Newcastle is called Collinwood, which was named after an ex-Navy Admiral. Well, that explains the no signposts. He's used to being in the middle of the bloody sea. And I swear to you, the first practice question you get is like the first question that you get on who wants to be a millionaire. Hosted by this bloody fella. I believe I can fly. I I you are coming to a junction, should you indicate the go right, abandon the corn sprint in the other direction, get out the corn, feed your pet, go to Twix, or watch a mother raccoon give birth in the back seat. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with the raccoon. Is that your final answer? Yes, it's me f final answer. Well, if you'd said abandon the car, I didn't f say abandon the f car, did I, you f little f no, you've passed your theory, and if you've got a haircut like this, you can already smell the 15 year old girls that you're going to be picking up at McDonald's in your lovely white course hour black wheels. But by the time a slot comes straight to bloody book your test, our Raul over here has been reborn into the world as a puddle. Now it's the day of your test, but before it starts, you've got your hour long session with your instructor to get your final bit of practice in. Now you've drove over 20 hours of driving. Well, that made complete sense for how to drive at this point, but for some reason, just before you your test, you start driving like this. You've made your way to the test centre, and you're in the waiting room, waiting for your examiner to walk through the door. And for some reason, everyone's staring at you. You think you're wearing bloody gladiator sandals, the way bloody Barnabas is staring you out, just because your heart's bursting out your shirt like this. The door slams open with the call of your name. And standing there is a woman who's aged about 302, who looks like she's been through both world wars, a chicken casserole, and the whole box at a bloody Holby City. And everyone in the room knows that she's dodged a few coffins on her way to work this morning. And the first thing you're gonna need to do with that is read the license plate of the car in front. And as long as you're not blind, you get a pass on that one for having such pretty eyes. And the first thing to do when you start the engine and start driving is to get out the test center. Now, as long as you don't do something, like this. You can take that off your list as well. And during your test, you'll be asked to do a manoeuvre. And the most frequent one that comes up is a three point turn. Spit that one again, Cam. And if you're a mutant, you'll do something like this. And by the way, for some reason, as soon as you start your test and get on the road, every single crackhead that lives in your area will also take to the road. So don't be surprised if you drive past Frank the factory worker driving like this. And when it's all over, you can go to your parents and tell them that you passed. And if you didn't pass, then you've probably got no money to get to school, six from college or work in the morning. But don't worry, you can always just do this. It's a fucking clown! Get the fuck out of here! What the fuck? Right everyone, thanks for watching. Really means a lot to us. And if you're an absolute legend, you'll hit the like button. And the aim for this video is obviously to hit 190 likes. And by the way, if you haven't realized from the excessive posts on every single social media I have, we've reached 1K subs. I just want to say, you, yeah, you right there, subscribing, has absolutely done wonders for me and I just really appreciate you watching. And hitting this milestone has made me year mint already. Proper, proper appreciate it, man. Cheers. Now next week, there's going to be a very special video. The first Q&A for 1K subs. Now it's not just going to be a Q&A when I'm standing next to the camera. So I don't know if you are quite ready for it. So I want you to fire your questions into us. And you've got a few options of what you want to do. The first option, you can leave a comment on the YouTube video with your question and I'll feature it in the video you can follow me instagram which is right here in direct messages a question or you can tweet us it here 
which is absolutely fine. Or even add us on Snapchat. And if it's a video, that'll also get featured in the video. And obviously every question that gets featured, I'll give your social media page a shout out. So whether you're on your Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever it is, YouTube channel, to help you out a little bit to say thank you as well. So guys, subscribe if you're new. New video tomorrow. Leave a like and a question on one of my social medias or in the comment section down below for the Q&A. And I'll see you in less than 24 hours. I tell you what is a killer when your mum says I think we might have a pizza and night son Get it mother Shall I go and get the Domino's menu or the pizza hut? Oh it's alright son I got one from Asta earlier F***ing come you I knew you little f***ing I'll f***ing kill you f***ing hear